Here we are, late in the evening, entering Kingston Port Royal, where we will have make our last passenger delivery. And in about 40 minutes, we have made over 150,000 reals, which is enough to purchase and arm a small warship that is much stronger than our basic brig and will help us to level up in naval action. So you're a brand new captain of naval action and you find yourself in the port capital with a basic brig and you're wondering, what now? At Naval Gaming, we have created a quick start guide to get you started in naval action. You can find it at navalgaming.com forward slash quick start. And the first thing we recommend is taking passenger missions and explore the world while making money. So the first step is to click on the journal button down at the bottom of the screen. This will open up your mission journal. And under the economy, you'll see these passenger delivery missions. There's usually two of them in, in every port. And what you're looking for is the destination. Where do these passengers want to be delivered? To determine that, open up your map by pressing your M key. Scroll down to the port and county search and start entering in the letters of the port. You see it come up, you click on the little target indicator and the map will center on that particular port. Here I'm looking at Pedro K and then I'm looking at Bugle K and there they are. And it turns out they're lined right up with each other with Kingston Port Royal. So I think I'm going to take both those missions and go from one port right to the other. So I'll go first to Pedro K and then on to Bugle K. I take the missions, confirm, and then I go over to my mission journal and here you see the missions that I've accepted. You can accept a total of 10 missions. Here we've got two of them accepted. Also, when you go in and take a look at your hold, you will see the actual passengers in the hold with their destination, where it is that they want to go. So we've got our passengers, we've got our mission journal all set up. Now we're ready to leave port. All right, we're setting sail from Kingston Port Royal. Now the next thing we're gonna do, we wanna open up our map and we actually chart the course. What we're gonna need is that protractor. So in the upper left hand corner, click on show protractor, it opens up our protractor. And then with our double clicking our left mouse button, we can place the protractor and using the right mouse buttons, we can actually draw a line to our destination. It actually sets the course. And then we see down on our compass rows in the lower right hand corner, little arrow indicating the course that we've set in our map. That's making it very easy to navigate. So here we are arriving at the opposite side, on the wrong side of the island of Pedro K. So we're going to go around to the port's entrance. And we are going to deliver our passengers here to Pedro K. So once we get into Pedro K, what we're gonna do again is open up our journal, our mission journal, select journal over the far right, and then we see a checkbox. That indicates that that, that passenger is ready for delivery. We select that checkbox and then click on deliver, which claims our reward. We just made 24,268 reals on that passenger delivery. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the passenger delivery missions that are here in Pedro K. And here we see we have a mission going to Bone K, 
We're going to go ahead and take that one. And what else we have? Port Antonio. Now before I look that up, what I'm going to do is take a look at the map. Go to Port and County Search. Port and County Search. Look up Antonio or Port Antonio. Click on it. And Port Antonio is just on the other side of Jamaica from Kingston Port Royal. And I think I am going to go ahead and take that. That might be for another time that I'll actually make that mission. So we confirm, taking our mission. And there's our passengers. Also, you just notice we've got some, we put out fishing lines on our journey. So we're picking up some fish along the way. So now, as I'm going to map out, our next destination is Bugle K. So I'm going to open up the map and set a course for Bugle K, from Pedro K to Bugle K. And I notice there that we've got a wind boost en route between Pedro K and Bugle K. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chart my course to that wind boost so that I can pick up the wind boost, which will give us some extra speed to get us along our journey. And so you'll see these, for long, especially for long journeys, well, even for short journeys, it's, it's nice to be able to boost our speed by catching these wind boosts that, that pop up on the map. And here it is, here we are out in open world and you can see what the wind boost looks like out there in the open world. And then when we click on the wind boost, we'll see exactly how much we're going to get from this, how much of a speed boost, how much of a speed lift we're going to get from using the boost. And in this particular case, we're going to get a 41% increase for 10 minutes. And we've got our wind bonus indicator up there in the upper hand left that tells us. And then I'm going to chart the course from our my current location to Bugle K. Now notice up in that upper left hand corner, that wind boost, you can see how that it times. You can see it as it goes down, it's used up. You can see how much of that wind boost you have left. And then we pull into port. And of course, when we go into port is when we lose that wind boost. So now I'm delivering my Bugle K passengers. And I'm gonna take a look at the passenger delivery missions that are here. And we've got Pedro K. Actually, that's gonna be on my way back. So I'm gonna grab that mission. And what else we got here? We've got, uh, oh, Kingston Port Royal, perfect. Now we've got passengers for our return trip. Thus making more money, maximizing our revenue for this particular voyage. All right, there's all our passengers and off we go. Now one, charting our course to uh, Bone K. Now one thing I wanna point out, we are doing this in our basic brig, which is a warship. Now with, a, with your warships, you cannot enter foreign ports. We lucked out and all our ports that we're looking at here are all Great Britain ports. But if some, sometimes you'll see passenger missions that are going to ports that are not part of Great Britain. And those ports you can't enter with a warship. However, you can enter those ports with a trader ship. So for example, a trader brig or a trader cutter or trader lynx, or even an LG, LGV and an Indiaman can enter a foreign port. So essentially what you're doing is you're smuggling passengers into those foreign ports using a trader ship. But that's a little bit more advanced. Something you might do later on when you've gotten good at this sort of thing. Here I am looking up the the ports that are there in Bone K. Found with the light. Oh Carlisle. It's another one that's along the way on our return trip. All right, so now we're going to go from Bone K to Pedro K. Mapping our course there. And essentially, we have generated revenue 
going out and we are generating rev revenue on our return trip. So this is actually working out pretty well. Now one thing I just mentioned, so these are passenger emissions. There are also, under the economy missions, there are cargo missions. And cargo missions, instead of delivering passengers, you're actually delivering a load of cargo. For those missions, you need a trader's brig. And so what you eventually what you're gonna wanna do is either buy or capture a trader's brig, and then you can start doing cargo missions in addition to the passenger missions. So here I am arriving, where am I? Carlisle, which is just outside of Kingston Harbor. And off we go into Kings to Kingston for our last delivery. So as we start heading into Kingston Port Royal, we'll deliver our last passenger and we will have netted about, what have we got? Let's do that last delivery and we have netted for about 40 minutes worth of work, 152,388 reals, which is a very good start. That'll get us going, that'll get us set up with a warship that we can then go out and start working on generating XP to level up in naval action. Ahoy, captains of naval action. My name is Jim Bursch and I am the developer of NavalGaming.com and my nom de guerre in-game is Marlin Spike. Massively multiplayer, open world naval action is more fun to play with other people. I've created Naval Gaming to help new players learn the game and facilitate playing as a team in the game. Naval Gaming is a website at navalgaming.com where you can lead and participate in operations and move up the ranks as an officer of Naval Gaming. The website is highly integrated with our Discord server where players can meet each other and play together in voice communication. Also here on our YouTube channel, we're producing videos including tutorials to help new players and experienced players alike. You're invited to join us at navalgaming.com or on Discord at discord.navalgaming.com.